Like, how hard do you think he's going right now? He's like, dude, oh, no, if I get eggs, this game's over. Action than the Ember. At least the Ember has, like, rotation potential at level 6. Yeah, wow. exactly. Yeah. I mean, he might be able to turn a gank with a TP or something, but making moves is not the easiest thing to do. Yeah. Uh, although, you can just go farm the enemy. Yeah, he's going to go steal his small campus. Meanwhile, up top, they are getting the chase down there. Dubu getting uh, Lucent themed up here in Vol. Calculating. Trying to find the angles. And... Uh, Oh, with the illusion! Oh, block. Okay, it doesn't matter. That would have been still huge, pretty though. cool. Oh, he's going for the courier. Don't die first. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I think he wanted to suicide to the tower anyway, right? Because like oh, no RP? one's around. But oh, oh, nice cut, dude, Rusi. That was sick. That can do it. So if we got really good at it, it could just like murder this hero in one day true and people are picking up more range uh range quelling blades these days too because mm -hmm. it's, it's just the highest damage the highest damage item you can buy for even ranged heroes so yeah. oh nice double spear just yeah, for harass all right for said this guy does not fear towers and that's because he's got the oh, backup coming oh he missed his lights have been so good this game defensively but offensively he can't get it to connect Rugoth still getting low, chasing and running off to the east, but it's really Tomato being chased under the tower that we care about. Flame Guard going through, Moomiander coming to try and help out here for Tomato, but will eventually go down. However, Vol caught under tower just outside of the range. Very likely to go down here as well. There's an illusion in the back trying to block him off. Oh, he gets through. All right, still juking and jiving, but slowly going to catch up to his own Magnus. Sinking a Magnus really killing on the net worth right now. Pretty far ahead of some of these Radiant heroes. Yeah, that's one issue with the the cut lineup is that they have a lot of pressure, but because the Luna's not their care. Oh, top lane, Dubu. Yeah, that, that one looks free. He got speared just into a chase of a Brile. The RP onto two. Anyone else coming? Tomato, hurry! All right, Meta's pop. Who are we going for? They're opting for Frugas here. Sullivan had a pullback there. Doesn't even need it. Brile is just whopping down with a big hammer. As uh, he's almost at 4,000 net worth. Vol's going back under the tower because Rusi's here. Brile says, sorry, bud, you're on your own. And they're even going to haunt for this. He saw the writing on the wall. He just got out. So, Tomato to fall. So, it really comes in a little bit too late. He does hit the Pro Strike here, though. But just wondering, like, I, I guess I'm just assigned to this tower now. And my terror... Just like you said, like, they are not letting up for a second. And I think... Jeez, <laughs> they're on them again. Saberlight's dusted inside his Sandstorm. Has to do the oh. mini Burrow Strike to try and survive there. I think he thought another spell was coming out. And gets a hood delivered a bit too late. And, well, Dubu is... <laughs> that's the worst feeling as a support. At least Pingu is the only support that can do this that easily. And, of course, still has global uh, helpfulness there with that living armor maxed out. Yeah. Oh, Ruin spawns top. Three oh, mana. Oh. Oh, okay, they're just guaranteeing it with the RP. All those abilities being down. You would, you would need to go smoke and get a kill. And even if you get a kill, you might not end up getting a tower from that. Yeah, that's and true. Catapults are very easy to abuse on, like, the first tower, but the second one, not as... Not so uh, much, yeah. Yeah, not very straightforward. I mean, that's why they're also just, like, running their faces into this mid lane, I think. Two-hero Burrow Strike while inside the arena. Long-range Ice Blast is not going to connect here, and that's going to leave Saberlight to uh, his death. Haunt comes through. Rusi getting low, though. Jumping past Dubu. Oh, with the dodge. He's going to jump away. I think he's going to be fine. Rusi making the plays, balling back up. Thinking about coming back in here with some help of Living Armor. Oh, perhaps he's found Moomiander. He's trying to 100 to 0 him, but... Now, in terms of holding towers, like, nobody mm -hmm. picks Tinker, nobody picks Zeus, nobody picks these Keeper of the Light, the, you know, those sorts of heroes. It's like Sand King's yeah. the only one, really, for holding these Tier 1s. And I feel like it's Tide gets banned every second phase. <laughs> so, Green Protector, it's actually limiting some of the kills the Cut can get, because Undying aren't even bothering to stay at the towers. If they don't have TB with meta, they just leave, because they know that the Treant's going to delay it anyway. So, of course, that leaves you to limited kill opportunities, as they do grab a good kill opportunity in the mid lane, as he's just by himself. Tries a haunt play there to maybe get some sort of an escape, and they're going to try a little bit of revenge here, too. Arena Spear. That'll pick up Brile, but Saberlight comes through with the Epicenter. Rusi, he's got one last jump. Oh, it's not far enough away. Gets Bro Strike there, into the Bushwhack. Chained up into the cold feet as well. Oh, perhaps not, but these heroes that we have, we mm -hmm. know that there's a tree, so pushing into them, all the cut can do is fight us. So what we're gonna do is just is just farm. But the cut, they're gonna three they hero know. smoke. Yeah, and they have the this eclipse, cool. but they don't have the arena. This is a hard one to land. They're gonna miss the spear. Uh, that was it. That was our initiation. We we don't have overgrowth. We don't have arena. What are we doing Ooh, here, guys? Boy, you better figure out a new plan because you lost Frugos. You're gonna lose Pingu. 
Things better hope both. Saber Lake kind of feigning some weakness, and now they're just going to send in Tomato with the uh, Empower. So this will probably let the cut know they're all down here. And so to counter that, they're trying to make their rotation. But now they're smoking with Saber Light. As the Blink Burrow Strike. No forward vision here, though. So the smoke pops. They need a war. Oh, he gets an E5 throw oh, triple. Them together. The three hero burst strike. It's just the two of them together, though. How much damage they got? They're going to get through Goss. The Hawk comes through. Tengu able to survive. So despite the great initiation, only going to get. Uh, one kill, but meanwhile, in the river, it looks like we got an RP and an Orchid to get the kill onto Rusi. So, I'm dying. Very happy with that uh, invasion. And, oh, the Bushwhack going to grab Pingu. Lumiander finds him in the trees. Of course, a safe spot to guess where a Treant player is. And down he goes. For another 40 seconds. I feel like that's a pretty crucial part. Uh, a backstab coming through. All right, they're kind of lurking nearby. Unfortunately, their smoke is near to popping, and they're under a dire obs. So that could be bad. And there's the initiation. Oh, yeah, I think he's getting hit. Probably didn't even need it. Now, Fergus coming through. Oh, the arena. Three heroes. All right, let's go. Eclipse in one second. Fergus dropped the big damage. Help the squad. It's a BKB Brile. He's looking okay. The Eclipse comes through. Now the epicenter. Another blink for strike here onto Fergus. Brile with the RP2. Got to cast Rushi for the finish. Oh. Even a Sunder on the Vol, sure, why not? As the Essence Ring, try to survive here, see if he can pick up a kill on the way out, but looking unlikely as uh, the supports will go down. But they're going to grab four kills right now. But the side of Undying is Pingu does escape into the river. D dank escape by Pingu. He's like, please, <laughs> yeah. don't kill me. Don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh... Interesting positioning from the cut. You can see... like They're going to instantly like TP here and come Roche. Why don't we just, like take their Ancients and see if we can grab a free kill? Yeah, cool idea. Maybe Spectre would walk up like after some Roche scan goes off, thinking like, oh, we need to contest this somehow. Oh, it might be Frugos. Oh, oh what there a classic, he is. dude. You know, someone's gonna come here, guys. Have been quickly dragged back to the reality of the situation here as they face uh, a very tough ending to game one, potentially coming soon, and some hard thoughts heading into game two. Here I am they... writing them off. What am I doing? They have a Spectre, Jenkins. Anything's possible. Oh, God. Are you guys going to play the game? Oh, man. How, how do you still spam Little Nick's chat wheel after kicking oh, him? Come true. on. That's, that's not cool. <laughs> if I was undying, I would spam that. Yeah, that's actually the, the best option now for any of the teams. Once again, talking about that HP threshold where, you know, you only have mm -hmm. six slots. Oh, oh that's not that's so good. It doesn't look like there's much HP on the Spectre, speaking of HP. No, yeah, he is, you know, right at that 2,000 mark. And I think just about Spectre, which is a bit of a problem. As the Burrow Strike comes through, catching Vol deep in his base, just trying to prep and set up for the dream fight. But it's a nightmare instead. It's Undying who kick things off, grab a couple easy kills. The arena comes out just for his death, but the Ice Blast flies through as well to catch Rusi. And they're just standing inside your own arena, taking down your buildings. They're trying to find a solution. Bull comes in. He blinks into a burrow strike by the looks of it there. And he's gone. There's a Sunder. Tomato helping out in. And that's a GG. And I don't blame them. Haunt. Dance around. Destroy my eardrum. Sure, why not? Uh, but it's Undying who absolutely destroy game one after a promising first couple minutes there for the cut where it seemed like they could grab a bit of momentum. And this one, uh, their plan stalled out. And, uh, well, it was like a plane song. and Sun King don't feel like heroes. It's pretty smart. There's a nice little bait there. That is true. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Smoke pop. Oh, look at... They're just lurking. They're inching step by step. Oh, save my run! Use all eight legs to escape. But he's coming. Oh, the speed from the web. Will it be enough to slow from the Arctic burn? The bro strike. He's in a weird, awkward high ground, low ground, but it doesn't matter. There's enough damage as the arrow comes from Frugos as well for the first blood. And Dubu, some quick calculations. He's like, I, I think I can get this. Oh, he's oh, he denies it. it. <laughs> That's so annoying. Uh, Not the worst. Six on Brood, the Ench can leave and go take the mid tower. So it, it does it does seem like a solid combination. Oh, there we go. The Bushwhack oh. with the long dagger. I thought Bull was actually fine here, but oh, one more mana. Regen. All right, he's got Burrow Strike. He's good. Oh, you're totally good, right? Uh, okay. I guess. I don't know. One gives you amplified magic damage. Talents. Talents. Yeah, level 30s. Like. The late game is just very different from how it was previously, where some hero like Juggernaut doesn't necessarily outcarry a traditional like mid laner. 
Oh, oh nice boy. grab there. Yeah, Moomiander again, his second kill. All right, revenge kill with the arrow from Frugos, and we'll be fine. Has two leaps just in case, but Tomato not going to chase. Top lane, Vol. Oh. He's got three levels in Burrow Strike, top. He can die here. He doesn't have points in Sandstorm. He just used it. Yeah, and now the Bushwhack and the rotation from Brile. That's going to 100% guarantee it. Um, Brile, the catapult got arrowed in mid as well while Frugos was there, so are you with these spider clear heroes and you put a hero who's good against the spider clear heroes such as Quas, Wex, Invoker in the lane so now you can't counter the brood by just sitting a hero there you, ha you have to actually fight the brood which is not look easy at the split of the spiders too Saber like keeping it away from the creep wave if the wyvern tries to defend because now the spiders are just chasing the wyvern Venga's just dead already used the cold embrace and he's gone they pop the haunt uh, scout now where everybody is they know scourge is stuck back there yup spiders Going right back under the tower. So Scourge McDuck's also going to fall here. Bryo still lurking in the trees. They're surrounded. They think they're chasing the Dire, but it's the Dire. We're waiting for the Pincer. Oh, but wait. The boat coming through, protecting them with some damage. And there goes Frugos. He's gone. Can they clean up some more heroes? Will they get any kills onto Undying? I, I think it's just the cut getting cut up. They're the ones being served. They're the stakes, after all. And now Rusi, he's got... Vol has just been wandering around in the middle here. Like, what do I do? And now the chain stun is almost certain. Oh, you know, he just needs one kill, though. The explosion from the Caustic finale. Maybe he can get a chain reaction. <laughs> Not going to happen. I got to say, this build from Vol maxing out Burrow Strike, the Burrow's not really doing much in these fights. And because he doesn't have the Sandstorm, he's so easy to kill. Oh, and look at Scourge McDuck. He's trying to go for a counterplay of what the Brood is attempting in the bottom lane up top. But there's the Tornado EMP, Bushwhack. That's a risky place to be as a Lesh. Yeah, he's totally alone. Surely he knew that was likely to happen. Like, you can get some cheesy towers as Lesh. This is not one of them. No, I go to plus, so he's, he does it. Yeah. He's bringing her for to the big leagues. Uh, not a lot of success quite yet. And look at this. Scourge is behind. He sees the Edict hitting the Invis hero, of course, as that's what it can do. But they still get the tower. And Scourge McDuck, very alone back here. Precarious situation. Gets the cold embrace, but now the reinforcements are coming. The haunt is there. Scourge to fall. Can they grab Frugos? Yes, they can. Wrapped up with the bushwhack. And cleave on down there with a big old swing of the blade. Now Vol, trying to find some purpose in this game, is lurking nearby. I don't think they have the follow-up. Oh, okay, here comes Roos. They're going for the full combo into Brile. They got to get a revenge kill here. Surely he's dead. Yeah, they got it. All right. Nice little turnaround kill there for them, but the the problem with this is that Rusi is just teeping out. And Moon not going to go for the big shot here. He wants to come mid to help this kill. This Scourge McDuck is dropping really low from the spiders, but does clean them up. Unfortunately for him, the Bushwhack comes out. So Moon making plays. This is a killing spree now. 5 1 and 4 on the Hoodwink, and the hero continues to shine in these qualifiers. Oh, Frugos, though. Revenge kill. He's trying to... Oh, see what his carry couldn't. But, uh, all right, gets a leap. Should be all right. Oh, man, it's not stop action. Rusi does get the X, but I don't think the fall of the arrow comes through. Sure, that's going to send up the Invoker. Maybe that can help Rusi get back. Frugos comes in just for the Star Storm. Uh, he might die for this. Oh, the Sun Strike hits <laughs> a cross strike level one. Sun Strike throws heavy ball. Rusi was getting chased down. They find the kill onto the Hoodwink. That's Moon falling to Vol. Now Pengu being chased by Saber Light. Wait, we're just diving tier twos. It's not a big deal. The ulti pops that cold embrace. And oh, Vol coming through the epicenter now. The follow up stun from Scourge Knock. The revenge kills are there. Have they gone too far? I think they have. Ryle, damage. AoE for the last track. Now Frugos comes through. Trying to find the last bit of damage. They've got the invoker. Can they squish the spider as well? Because it's now a triple kill for Saberlight. Low on mana, has a soul ring and arcane boost in just a moment, but not looking for anything else. He's just gonna back away to the tower and uh, just go back to leaving. Easy stuff. Uh, this is great, man. We're talking about Avo not having to do work. It's like there's so much fighting. I don't have to do anything either. I'm just sitting here <laughs> waiting for it to end. Uh, Vol. What's he's he got doing? no mana. Uh, he might just slowly, pathetically die here. No, he's got mana boots. Fraga saves I, his I had to check for a defusal blade. I was like, what is happening? Uh, yeah, he went down real fast. The pipe is now out, helping out the spiders. But Saberlight dropping low there, and he's back. All right, to safety. Scourge dropping low. Oh, man, Scourge. He's always in the middle of everything, and he doesn't have the HP for it. Meanwhile, the big game has just come out there on the Moon and Saberlight, but Moon's going to pop the wand. We'll survive. Cold Embrace. That's just the T-ball setup. The Impetus or the Meatball doesn't really matter. 
Oh, knock him down. Stay in this like split pushing sort of style, but he's showing up to every fight, and I think he needs to show up to every fight. I think that's correct, oh, but two thousand. Like, what do the bots do for him here? Well, not much, that's for sure. It, it's interesting how you can just acorn shot there, and he's actually just done for. Like, what? This is lead at sixteen minutes. Vol. Also, Mumi at the same time, so. Yeah, Vogue and low. Mumia in the jungle getting Boat at the same time. Boat actually does pick on the Sable as well. He's bringing the Spider's Force, and they are swarming on the Frugos. Oh my god, his health. It just vanished. Oh, he didn't go for the Spider's or anything there. He's got no spells left. Vol might just die to the Spider's. In fact, they have to throw the Cold in, or rather the Winter's Curse. Might need a Cold Embrace in a second. As, oh, there we go. Get some damage on the Spider's on the way. Pingu can't pick up too much gold there, unfortunately. And Torrent to protect. That will get uh, Pingu out of there. All right. So solid save. Unfortunately, the lead now grows to. Oh, okay, careful, dude. <laughs> that TI in fight. Hey, I, I didn't call him a minion. We're, I we're said lags. underling. We're lags. <laughs> wow, the bushwhack into the old sharp shooter. Volt coming to protect, though. For the first time, Scourge gets a little bit of help, it feels like. And he, he might survive. He's living. He gets out, finally. Will escape with those boots of travel and the speed offered by them. Uh, tornado as well from Brow, though. They're not going to catch this slippery cat. And people want to say that's true. Perseverances yeah. are legit. Yeah, Great they're still in that item. They, they haven't moved on from like 2011. It might be earlier. It might, it might be like 2009. Yeah, I think. that's. Chris uh, uh, put another one on the board. That's now eight deaths for the last rack. Uh, though, Vol, you know. They should have just picked techies. You know, if you I, think you're going to lose in this series to Undyne, just pick techies, and then people have to waste a first phase techies ban on you, because nobody wants to play that game. They kicked their techies player is the problem, though. Uh, Tango King's the, the, the techies, so they had a, a chance to be the... Although, I got to say, uh, Rusi is looking like a, a, a very solid player in both of these games. Like, he's... Oh, Scourge. Oh, don't look. Don't look at it. He said, look away. We don't need to see that again. He's going to need the double digits with one more death. I I definitely agree. I think Ruzi has looked uh, quite talented. Uh, let's see other heroes. Yeah, it's on. And it's very different. Yeah. There he goes. Just like that. That's how she goes. Oh, that's 10. 10 and game 21. one repeating itself here. Uh, the best news is that it is a play after schedule here as the arrow hits the catapult. So, unlike the DPC, we, we get a fast 2-0. Oh, we'll get you guys into the next match as soon as we can. And Undyne doing their best to make that come true. Uh, I'm going to have to put up some wanted or uh, some missing posters, though, I think, pretty soon. Uh, I'm a little bit worried. I feel like I haven't seen Tomato in a while. Oh, there he is. There's the Spectre. Hey. He's, he's coming in for a little bit of a kill here. Oh, no. Don't let him die, guys. Tomato's going to keep the clean stat line here. 2 0 13 at the moment. They grab another kill. He's chasing into the base. And the Winner's Curse comes out. Make the 2 0 14, by the way. And arrow doesn't connect. Uh, Tomato chasing as an Aegis. So he's got one death to give away. But they want objectives. Not the best objective hitters on Undying, but with a 20k gold lead at 22 minutes. I don't think that matters very much. No, no. Big old snipe there. Very well shot from Moomiander. Level 14 at this point. The tornado will fly through. Tomato, he's Alacrity. He's Solar Crested. They're throwing all the spells on top of him. And, uh, well, that's a really dead Rusi on, on the Kunkka. So, I believe uh, Scourge is just farming for next game. Want the tower, the Dignity Tower, coming out here for Come the cut. On. Come Let's on. Get it. Let's get it. Yeah, Hell it's going to be. Yeah. Who towers taking this match? Can he get three? Go mid. The I mid think tower. He should. It's I low. Think he should do it. It's low. He can do it. Come up. He's doing it. He Scourge? wants it. Five seconds. It's a is race. He... It's a throne is race. He... Is he gonna Who's get? Who's gonna get it first? Oh, the tier fours. They're they're getting punished. They're pressing. They didn't oh, fort. The they didn't fort. They, they had fort. fort. They didn't use it. Oh my god. SMD with the plays. Do it again. This it's is really all the fun. He's being back bottom. This is all you can do. Radiance middle tower has 
Oh, uh, yes. It is a, uh, a rough one here. He's, he's getting all that's available on the map. His allies are all dead. What more do you want from the guy, people? Oh, that sharpshooter really hurts. Right back to your base. Unfortunately, not going to find the time to survive as Vol just runs around in a circle in the sandstorm. They've been here for so long, they're actually out of detection by the looks of it. So, there you go. Yeah. That's the strategy. It's like letting the uh, the boxers tire themselves out by punching you 50 times in the face. God, that's such a good strat. That's the Logan Paul right there. It's, it's just about time to try and uh, you know turn that strategy around here, though, if you want a chance to win in this one. The punches are starting to hurt. They're hitting your Tier 4 towers. They're killing your Sand King with dust on the Spectres. Tomato goes to the last hits. Scourge McDuck uh, actually TPing to the base this time. Takes a Tier 2. He's got his BKB. And Vol lived. Shockingly. Yeah. Now Scourge is coming in. He's like, it's my time. BKB. Press my spells. Oh, Kill there's the no way just a Spectre. He's dead. Scourge McDuck. Wait, what? He's not dead. He's not dead yet. Oh, no. I smoked too soon. He got him. All right. There we go. Dignity Towers. Dignity Kills. Some of it preserved as the cut. Yes, they fell, but it is to the Titans of this NA qualifier. The team everyone expects to take the win uh, versus a squad who are just uh, trying Wyvern. to keep up. <laughs> Wyvern Mask of Madness. Oh, that's a Chad build from Pingu. Very nice. Yeah, there you go. He went the damage talent too. He's like, SMT's not going to carry me. I need to carry myself. Yeah. Speaking of the Herald builds, you know, it's uh. <laughs> yeah, on the other We're side. We're in there again. A spirit vessel inside your own fountain. That's depressing. Uh, well, thank you for your assistance. Helping the push end sooner by dying with the spiders coming out of your body to take down your own towers. It's a bit gruesome, but it's Dota. And Scourge McDuck looking for his uh, 12th game, let's, or 12th death rather, in this one game. Let's make it a solid dozen for the safe lane left track as a 41 to 10. Final scoreline comes out here with Undying, a true shell.